it's turning out to be a very good day today. So those tickets do need to get paid before I pick you up the not, car. No, you, I mean, is your registration active? For my car? I thought you said you got booted and towed. I got towed. It's always something. It's one thing after another, and it's always something, and I swear to God, it's always me. Why is it always me? What What did I do to, to the world, to, to people? Like, uh, we're going to get Trixie. We're on a rescue mission. Also, she did not seem happy to be uh, to be working today. I always feel bad for like people like that when they have to deal with like customers who are just absolute assholes. Because then at the end of the day, like they're grumpy, and then you know if they have a bad customer, then you call and they're grumpy. That makes you upset, and then they could just like escalate from there. So I, I always try to be like pretty cordial and like nice. Um, because at the end of the day, it's my own fault that this happened. I didn't pay my tickets. I didn't register my car to mass. So I don't have residential parking. Um, so basically, um, I kicked myself in the ass for this one. A few moments later. Uh, we're doing a health screen. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? What is he doing? Jared got tickets to the Red Sox a couple weeks ago. They were wicked cheap. And we got four. So we were like, well, might as well invite Bill. Funny thing about Bill is he's a Yankees fan. Yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> In regards to my car, um, City of Austin, they have the authority to tow your car after you get five tickets that are unpaid. I had to go get my car out of the impound lot. That was a fun experience. Messed up my whole day. I was there for like an hour and a half. So, uh, you know, at the end of the day, here we are. You know, we're going to enjoy the game as much as best as we can. Let's call it a night. Not home team, fuck. Alright, so we were talking. Best way to get on the field if yeah, I were to do it. <laughs> Sneak. All the way over. If I make it over there, start taking clothes off right in front of it and just hop it. Theoretically speaking, of course. <laughs> I wouldn't care if I got arrested for jumping the fence. Would you? It'd be a sweet deal. Yeah, I'd do it. All right, you want to talk about I just wouldn't want to have to pay to bail. Let's <laughs> 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 Chilling in here, huh? All right, so Noah and I tried to leave a little early versus uh, Jared and Bill because you know we we're not real fans, <laughs> and so now I ran home, got the car, now I'm gonna go try to pick up Bill and Jared. It's a whole ordeal. It's just all right. Rescue mission complete. Success. Fuck you. It's been a long wait, but it, I've been anticipating this day for quite a while now. Almost a month, actually. Um, I have a couple boxes just that I've just been like sitting in my room. And uh, the reason why is because I haven't been able to put on or I haven't been able to utilize what's inside the box yet to get rid of them. But today we're going to change that. We're getting 10. All right, so the car's, the car's in now. Uh, she's getting tinted. Honestly, it all happened so quickly. I, <laughs> I wasn't able to like get any video or anything, but like I pulled in, they're like, all right, let's just pull it in. I was like, oh, okay. And so it's in now. You can hear them, they're all working on it, so. I'm excited to see how it turns out. Oh 
no. I keep I keep looking at these. Satin Battleship Gray. The moose gray, khaki green. It's a little better in the light. It's a little it's a little dark in here, but it's like it's like a gray green. That one is really nice too. I keep I keep one I, I keep throwing it through my head like should I get it wrapped? I want to, but obviously like I can't right now. I just don't have money. <laughs> and over the summer we got big plans for it, so when I'm gonna be working, so good stuff is about to happen. I promise. This is fire, bro. Yeah, this is one of the Ella's shoes I ever seen out here <laughs> in the streets right now getting crazy. It only makes it different when you when you, when you throw smack a ten on the window, bro. It gets crazy, bro. I'm really happy with this. Yeah. It's it's like it's dark, but you can still kind of see in there. Barely. Yeah. Uh, so that's definitely making. I'll be able to check my reflection in the in the tent. You know <laughs> what I mean? This is crazy, bro. <laughs> this is fire, bro. Woo. Stays to this thing, yo. Like you said, stays to it. Get ready, man. We coming. <laughs> you know what I mean? We coming, man. <laughs> It looks good. All right, so we made it back home. Um, I'm waiting for Noah to get back to the apartment back home, just so um, the other stuff that we put on today. It's it's like a it's not necessarily a two man job, but it'd be easier if there was like two guys. You know, like two pairs of eyes is better than one. So uh, we're just gonna chill. I got the I got chicken on standby. You know, watching some Dustin while I wait. Ooh, dang, that looks so nice now. Oh my god. Sheesh. I am in love now. Absolutely in love. So just so you guys can see, that's the front windshield now, right? Pretty pretty bright um, stock. And this is what I have all around. So just a comparison of like the darkness to lightness of what it was and what it is now. That's a big question is going to be how much, what percentage did you get? Um, take a guess. I'm curious to see what you guys think. The technician or the guy, the tinter, I don't, what, I don't know what you call him. Basically said, um, wait three days before you roll your windows down. And it, like, it makes sense like in case you roll windows on the crinkles, whatever. Three days is kind of a long time to not be able to roll my windows down. And I noticed probably mid spring, there was like one like warmer day. I turned my AC on and it was not working. So I'm gonna run to AutoZone, grab some AC coolant, refriger, refrigerator, refrigerator, refrigerant, refrigerant, I think it's called. I'm gonna run to AutoZone, grab some of that. We're gonna recharge the AC. Hopefully that works. If not, I something's probably wrong with my AC and I'm gonna have to figure that out. But hopefully that's not the case. This is an easy fix and we'll see what happens. Very Let me cool. guess first. Huh? Let me guess first. You want to guess? Yeah. See, the back looks darker than the sides. Yeah, I did notice that. I want to say, it, to me, it looks like. Really? Is that what it is? No. It's not. Yeah. Dang. It looks lighter. It's probably because it's crooked right out. I haven't seen what it looks like to have someone in the car, so this is actually cool. <laughs> I love it, dude. I'm just, I can't wait to just put on the other bits now. I'm gonna go get the refrigerant and like start putting everything on, so. The banner and stuff? Yeah, well, n no. Put that out. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. So, we picked up some of this. It's called AC Pro. Just Could be, yep, that's it right there. That little blue topped L. I'm like, I'm like 99% sure that's what uh, that's what I need. Okay, like like 85% sure. Well, we're, this is a learning learning process. Got to start the car and blast the AC. She's on low. AC on. Ugh. Let's see if we can do something here. So now I guess I just connect it and hit it until it's full or charged. 
Guess we're gonna find out. Go in. Catch all of it. 95, 94. I feel like that's too high. Oh, that's way too high. Time the fuck out. You might have done something wrong. All right, so I let I let off some of the pressure. We're down to the 25. It says 26 to 50 is green zone. So. We're going to like 45. Whoa! See, that fan just kicked on. I honestly wonder if I have a leak. That's what I'm starting to think. I might have an AC leak. It's not cold. Now the PSI won't go above like 25. What did I do wrong? There she goes. She's cold now. Got it up to like 45-ish, 42 I think, which should be fine for now. I'm just gonna have to run it for a couple of days and see how it goes. And if I have to recharge, I have to recharge it. If that's not the case, then I might have a leak somewhere. Um, that was really weird though, that fan kicked on, it was making a weird noise and now it's not. It's still going, but yeah, I don't know what that was. Um, I was gonna put on rain guards and then I realized I need to roll the window down in order to do that. So we're gonna have to <laughs> we're gonna have to wait for those for a couple of days just until I can roll the window down. Um, wow, I can't believe why I, I why didn't I think about that? So instead, what we're gonna do today is uh, we're gonna put in the uh, it's like a rear window spoiler. It's like a little like visor that goes above or like right off your roof. You'll, you'll see what it is. It's pretty cool. I got both of this from, both of these from Subi Speed. Um, uh, so we're just gonna... Yeah. Place it like so. Anything else here? Oh, look at that. 3M tape. Very important. All right, so this is what it looks like. Um, it's just gonna go right in the back here. I already kind of wiped everything down um, And it doesn't come with instructions and I looked online the, the instructions aren't very clear, but what I'm assuming is I'm going to unroll the tape Place it on Whatever there's gonna be where there's gonna be contact with the car and I'm gonna use this stuff It's like a it's like a What is this? It's like a, it's like a, uh, oh, there it is. Primer adhesion promoter. So I'll just wipe everything on with an alcohol pad and primer, prime everything. And then, uh, yeah, this should be interesting. All right, so I did get that tape on, uh, the one side at least. Um, disclaimer, if you're gonna do this, don't do what I do. Um, suggestion would be take a brush or something, like a toothbrush, and dab this on there. Um, it comes out, I didn't realize, I thought it was gonna be more of a paste. It's not. It comes out very quickly. It's like basically a, like a very loose liquid. So um, the primer, that is. Um, so the first time I tried to use it, it, like, it went everywhere, and I was like, oh no, and I freaked out. So hopefully today is warm enough where it's just wicked sticky. Um, yeah, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see if I can do this. Make sure the tape is all set and down and like just set. <laughs> I tried to get as close to the edge as possible because that's where it's gonna make contact with the actual roof or the windshield. So that didn't sound healthy. Hopefully this is set. It said give it about 60 seconds. It's been a couple minutes. So I think we'll be all set. So now I'm just prepping that tape prepping the tape, just taking off a little bit of the edges off. So then when it's ready, you can just leave it. It'll stick a little bit. And you just peel it from right underneath it so it doesn't move. I wish I had nails. Also, um, I'm at Boston, I'm in Boston. So this is my garage, the street. 
Oh, there we go. Come on. There we go. Okay. So now those are prepped. Let's see if we can do this. I think it's all done. So there it is. I think it came out pretty good. Um, I'm just gonna keep applying pressure. Hopefully, it feels like it's pretty snug. Like it's not really gonna go anywhere. It is warmer out today, which is good. Um, Cause then the adhesive will bond a little better. A little, wow, a little better. So yeah, there you have it. Looks decent. I mean, it's not. I kind of messed up right there. Fitment's not like perfect. Like it, it dips out a little bit. Well, I guess it does the same thing over here. Never mind. I guess I'm. I guess I'm just. I guess I did it right. <laughs> it does. I noticed the fitment up top. It might just be warping. Um, but the fitment up top, it does not stay flush all along the roof. Like over here, obviously it's like a lot more flush. And then as you go down, you can see like more of the windshield gets in. So the curve is not perfect. But I mean, at the end of the day, no one's gonna, no one's gonna see that. So it's not a big deal really. Yeah, that's, that's it. Oh, I forgot. There's one more thing I'm putting on. Just uh, went inside to grab some stuff and uh, log myself outside. That's a big L. <sighs> Shite. All right, so we're still locked out. Um, I was able to get in the first door. It's the second door I gotta get into. Water is uh, low. I was honestly, I'll show you something. So we can get in through that window potentially. Or that window. And I set up this whole table. I was gonna jump on there, put a chair on top of that, try to hop in. But that, that's like uneven ground. It's really rickety. I don't feel like dying today. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna try the good old credit card swipe. Also, that one locks, that window locks from inside, or like the little knob thing. So the camera died. <laughs> Still locked out. No one's gonna be here in like, probably 20-ish, 30 minutes. So I just gotta chill until they get back, him and Jared. Um, yeah, like I was gonna put a banner on. The sun's going down, obviously, but I was gonna put a banner on. I was all excited about it. I grabbed the wrong thing, so I ran back inside to grab the right thing um, and a couple more like tools. Go inside, grab a handful of shit, run outside, door closes behind me. And I was like, yikes. Turn around, door's locked, check all my pockets. Don't have my keys. I know exactly where my keys are. Um, they're like, they're literally like right on my kitchen kitchen table. But, and I grabbed the wrong tools and the wrong thing. So I can't even put the banner on. It'd be one thing if like I could put the banner on and, and I was locked out, cause like that's not a big deal. But the fact that I lock myself out, don't have the right things and can't put my banner on, upsetting. The squirrels are starting to look at me funny. My God. Oh. My savior came home. They came home to let me in. All right, so the sun is starting to go down a little bit. I still have some daylight. So I'm gonna try to bang this out as fast as I can with Noah's help before the sun goes down all the way. It actually might be better now though, because it's cooler out. So this might actually be in my, uh, in my favor.
but we'll see. All right, so I messed it up. Whoa. As you can see, the middle all got torn out. That all ripped over in that corner. Um, I didn't let the adhesive, the adhesive backing, probably I just didn't let it set long enough. And or this isn't the type of wrap that you just throw on with like the water and uh, soap method. Um, there was a lot of like small cutouts in the center, so I think that has to do with the reason that has, that has to do with the middle being like easily coming with coming off with the uh, the paper part, like the wax paper that protects it. Um, so I guess that's that. Nah, kind of sucks. I was hoping I would be able to get one. I would be able to put it on. It would have looked cool with the tent and everything, but it is what it is. <laughs> And yeah, so that is, it is what it is, you know. I'll try to get a different um, banner. I'd like to get a Legends Media one still, but I can just try to get a different one. So yeah, it is what it is. I'm a little upset, but not a huge deal. It's a learning process. I still like wanted to put it on and like take everything off and kind of squeegee it just to get that learning experience um, on how to do it. Um, and next time, I'm not going to use a credit card either because it was scratching up that, uh, like, it was scratching everything up. So, you live and you learn. Um, next time, I will have a better understanding what to do. Ugh. And that's that. So, yeah. I think that's going to be the end of the video. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. As always, like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know. Uh, let me know what tint you think I got. Um, trying to keep it a secret. So if you think you know, throw it in the comments. I'll thumbs it up if you're right. This is what it looks like at night. So that's what it looks like. Quality is probably shit, but at night it looks hella dark. But yeah, let me know what you think. Throw it in the comments what you think, uh, what tint it is. And uh, catch you guys next time. Like, subscribe. See ya.